This poster was designed to help bronchoscopists perform endobronchial ultrasound guided TBNA. Endobronchial ultrasound, also known as EBIS, is used to sample mediastinal and hyalur lymph nodes in patients with cancer and benign disease. This lesson explains the use of a specially designed teaching tool and the lymph node map adopted by the International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer. The objectives of this lesson are to assist practitioners in the strategy, planning, and performance of EBIS TBNA, and to help practitioners understand the correlations between chest computed tomography, EBIS, and white light bronchoscopy for sampling mediastinal and hyalur lymph nodes. While this poster addresses most of the lymph node stations identified on the IASLC map, only one example will be used to illustrate how the poster helps prepare for EBIS TBNA. Let's look at the left lower paratracheal lymph node station. This is station 4L using internationally accepted nomenclature. The station's upper border is the superior margin of the aortic arch. The station's lower border is the upper rim of the left main pulmonary artery. The lymph node is usually located lateral to the trachea at the level of the main carina. The bronchoscope is placed in the lower trachea, approximately at the origin of the left main bronchus. With the balloon inflated, the transducer is turned towards the left to visualize the left paratracheal region. Be aware that while scanning the left lower paratracheal region, one might rotate the bronchoscope anterolaterally, laterally, back and forth, between the 12 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Station 4L is always to the left of the left lateral border of the trachea. With the scope oriented laterally, the EBIS scanning plane correlates best with the coronal view on chest computed tomography. The coronal view correlates with the EBIS scanning plane. The aortic arch is seen proximal, and the left pulmonary artery is seen distal to the lymph node. This slide shows the coronal CT view and the EBIS image at station 4L. To understand how the EBIS image correlates with the CT scan, however, several reference points must be identified. The EBIS image is projected on the monitor as if the scope were horizontal. The green dot on the monitor represents the point where the needle exits the scope. This corresponds to the cephalad aspect of the body. This dot is by default towards the one o'clock position on the monitor. Several adjustments can be made to the coronal CT image in order to bring the scope to a horizontal position and the green dot cephalad to match the EBIS image. Rotate the CT image clockwise in order to bring the scope to a horizontal position and the green dot towards one o'clock. The two images now correlate. Because the green dot is cephalad, the vascular structure at three o'clock is proximal and represents the aorta while the vascular structure at 9 o'clock is more distal and represents the left pulmonary artery. To summarize, for station 4L, the coronal CT is useful because it correlates with the EBIS scanning plane. The scope is in the lower trachea at the level of the main carina. It is rotated laterally to visualize the left paratracheal region. The EBIS image thus represents the same structures as are seen on the coronal CT. This lesson helped demonstrate how specific computed tomography views can be used in the strategy and planning of EBIS TBNA. Using this poster, the same principles can be applied to understand correlations between computed tomography and endobronchial ultrasound for each of the regional lymph node stations.